Well, water returns the water cooler. It goes good. It goes under and tail. Both things. It is going really good, though. I'm having a lot of fun. What are you, what? Is that for what you're talking about? Fresh? I said hi. Doing okay over there? Hello, fresh like in, in, in the food? Is that a joke? Because that's actually pretty good. I actually like that. I approve. <laughs> I have not, and I know I'm jinxing myself here. I have not had anyone else come in yet. That has been bad. I appreciate the fact that that's a thing. Just push it. I want to, want to push the box. Also, how's it going, Tickles? Bah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah, there's no art in that action-y, mindless sh schlock. Ooh. It's a fun word. It's just timing based drivel. It's doing the wow grind. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. Or just the work grind, dude. Just the grind in general. Life. Life is a grind, man. You, you're young. You've still got a. Yeah. <laughs> Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. I just want to push it. Can I push it? What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Gonna be 69 soon. Gotta be 70. Yeah. I just wanna, just wanna, wanna push the block. Can I, just, can I just push it? No. It's the joke. It's that he doesn't let me do that. You gotta get 70 for raid on Tuesdays. Oh wow. You? I mean, it is the last level of the expansion, so it's probably gonna take a bit, but. Shouldn't be too, too terrible. Nice. Achievement levels. Achievement get. You guys doing what? The Mac Theory? Are you doing Karazhan? Yeah, you said all your healers quit. What realm are you guys on? Karazhan and Gruul's Mag. Yeah. Doing the whole, whole round. Grobulus. Ah, damn. One man Kirk. Man Kirk and also Horde. <laughs> or I would have said, or I would have thought about maybe trying to get my, I mean, either 64. You know, it would take a little while to grind up, but it would be like for later weeks. Holy Priest. A little bit of everything. I'll, um, beginning of the week, we do all link to the past randomizer stuff, and then variety. I, I pretty much for variety. I hate. I, I hate. I like. I saw Thickle's comment, and my mind went to hate. I like pretty much everything. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Undertale. We did um, a little Sekiro, a little Dark Souls. So that kind of stuff. And that we normally do like on Wednesday, and then we'll speed run for the rest of the week. Normally, I only stream Monday through Fridays. This is a little bonus stream, and tomorrow will be a little bonus stream as well. Also, coming back on August 15th, we'll be playing D&D &D every other Sunday. So yeah, pretty much everything. Um, can you give me some more healing items? Let's go for the straight heals. That's depressing. <laughs> but yeah, actually, that's funny because I'm an undead priest. I swear it wasn't me. We're on different servers. But yeah, current current schedules, Monday, Tuesday, Link to the Fast Randomizer or other type of randomizer. Um, I outplayed it, right? <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Um... Sekiro, I have not beaten, because Sekiro, 
I have an issue with Sekiro. Ho ho! And I'll get to that right after Pap Pap Papyrus talks. After Papaya talks. The human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes, I will. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. <laughs> um, my issue with Sekiro is its upgrade path isn't... So, Sekiro is a game that just expects you to get good, as opposed to Dark Souls where you can farm and also get good. I... I had a really, we had just hit a point where I had killed a main boss and got some progression, but there were multiple hours of just me trying to grind out perfect parry times, and it, it just didn't, it just wasn't fun, because I couldn't go grind and level, it was, you just got a perfect parry to win, and it's like, okay, maybe just not my type of game. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one trading? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Da 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 Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. I love these sequences. They're they're just an amazing part of the game. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie dipsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna do next time I go over someone else's house. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom and just jump out the window. <laughs> anyway. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? <laughs> that would also hurt, because it's not fake Hollywood glass. I'm also not a skeleton, but you know what? I'm going to do it just for the shtick. <laughs> Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. It's true. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the friend fields of friendship. Not? Oh. The 90s called. They want their joke back. I got him. I think that was more like the early 2000s. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. <laughs> Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. <laughs> uh, challenge what? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. Nice. Got a bestie. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. <laughs> One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. <laughs> Seriously. Sorry. No, no. Correction. A homicidal fish lady bestie. What else do you need? Like, we're, we're talking even more than friends. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds all- Oh, wow, I just got wrecked. Well, maybe some nerds. <laughs> What's up, Taco? 
this up into some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Silverware drawer has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, and nunchucks. There's, okay, yeah. I hate cold food, so Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword! Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. True. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built the giant sword to get- have you ever looked at a JRPG? Or any RPG at all? Yeah, of course. A claymore is ten times the size of the person. You ever play Dota? You ever play Sven? Dude's got a sword that's like huge. <laughs> the anime from the... Yeah. I mean anime is the best thing ever, as far as history goes. If anime was history. I just added myself as a as an anime person there. That sentence. It's funny, because we've already played an anime game on stream, so everybody knows. figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? I dabble. I, I do dabble in anime. I'm not like one of the huge... I'm not, I'm not someone that watches everyone, but I dabble here and there. Scarlet Nexus was a fun game. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Is it, is it gonna be a warm warm beverage. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit <laughs> down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Simply hello liquid. Hot chocolate. Tea boxes. Blatantly correct choice. Sure. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It said it right there. Blatantly correct choice. I'll take a moment for the water to boil. Can I have a... a a water pot that boils and makes that sound, please. Boo. Not like the high pitched sound, but it just goes boo. Cause that'd just be fantastic. You, you gotta, you gotta go with the blatantly correct choice. Okay, it's all done. Is it gonna fall down because the table is currently indented and slanted inwards? Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of it. You're both total weenies! Whoa. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Hot-headed adult as well. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. touching but um to be honest i don't know if i can ever let papyrus into the royal guard 
Don't tell him I said that. He's just... Well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. It's true. Please don't let him into the Royal Guard. I don't want Papyrus to die. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Please, no. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> That's a reasonable response. Let's go. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, it will become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. <laughs> Just grabs you by the head, which does. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Our arts uniting against these healthy ingredients. This is what happens in a real kitchen, by the way. Anyone that's worked, any of his wonders, as, as a cook, as a line cook, this is exactly what happens. Now it's my turn. <laughs> uh, well, just screw this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them into the pot. Oh, you put them in. Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty pot. I'm into it. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Can't stir any harder. Let me do stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hotter. <laughs> this is literally what happens in, on, as a line cook. Wait, that's too hot. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. So I can regain my lost pride. Come on, hit me with all you got. And with all your might, you pretend. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Huh, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... shtick. Saccharin? Shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. 
Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Well, well I'm not a I'm not loser. I'm not that wimpy. I, I feel hurt. I'm hurt now. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgar are fated to fight. Asgore, not Asgard. Um, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Do, 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 do. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Pyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give a Pyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, the house is crying. 